Hey guys, uh, it looks like you guys are coming out of Super Rigs there. Uh, where are you headed to? Yeah, we're going to Greensboro to load here this morning. Ten four. Uh, who do I have the pleasure of talking to there? There's two of you that are running up together, so who's who? Uh, my name's Steve Harrison. Uh, second truck, my name is Eric Cole. Ten four. so uh, Steve, you're running that red truck there. Tell me about the, the year, make, model, uh, engine, type, uh, transmission, all the good stuff that folks want to hear about it. Uh, truck's a 2007 379 model Peter built and uh, 2011 Mack trailer. It's got a quick draw system on it. As far as motor work, we got the uh, Nacert Cat a 550 and uh, 18 speed, 336 rear ends. Got it pumped up a little bit, but it, it does a good job. Well, you say pumped up a little bit. You think you're getting 550 into the ground there, or are you just estimating? Uh, I'd say uh, probably 100 more than that. Uh, who do you pull for? I work for Scott Diller up in PA, uh, Lenita Specialized. 10 4. And uh, hey, Eric, what do you got there? Uh, it's a uh, 1995 Peterbilt. It's a uh, 379 model. Uh, it's got a uh, four and a quarter mechanical cat in it. 15 speed with 355 rear ends. The 15 speed is the old W pattern. Uh, all the big holes against the dash. 10 4. And what do you think you're making horsepower wise there? Should be about 475. I got it bumped up the snitch. I couldn't go too crazy. We're still a little bit under warranty, but that ends at the end of the month. So we're gonna put a bumper up. Eric, well, since we're talking to you, what type of custom parts are you running there on the truck? Um, I have an air ride front end made by Mike Horse. Uh, Horse, uh, I'm a chair rider, so I got a Valley Chrome 20 inch bumper with a 12 gauge lift kit, uh, Dynaflex 7 inch tall pipes, 12 gauge beer brackets, Midwest multi-visor, custom flush mount deck plate, custom eye panels underneath with underglow lights, about it, custom taillight bar made by Brunner Manufacturing. Well Steve, what do you got for custom parts there? Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, you know, they still got factory exhaust, just put top pipes on it, we got an air ride kit on the front end and some underglow lighting and then we run all incandescent lights, 1156 bulbs and glass lenses, just pretty simple here. You said you guys are running incandescent uh, as opposed to LED, is there a reason for that? Yeah, it's more of a classic type of light, like an old school light, it uh, pulls a lot of juice but uh, it really, really looks good at night time with its glow. How often do you guys get to run together? Uh, first time. Well, it's nothing like uh, running together for the first time and having some guy with a camera film it all, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So, hey, Steve, uh, how long have you been trucking for and how did you get into it? Well, I've been over the road about 11 years. All livestock, first about eight, eight and a half years. And, uh, just always, when I was a kid growing up, I always, I loved trucks. So, the day I turned 18, I went to get my license. So that pretty much tells the story. With the time that you spent on the road, what regions have you covered? Yeah, I've been in all 48, uh, some more than others, but uh, yeah, I've been, been in all the regions pretty much. With being in all the regions, what, what would you want to say to other motorists on the road regarding safety and uh, the things they can do to make your job a little bit easier? Well, uh, yeah, of course, it's not a perfect world, but uh, just cars we call them four wheelers I guess that run around out here sometimes they don't they don't realize the chances they take and the consequences that could affect them as far as the safety we have respect for the cars we don't want to run over top of them and I just would like the same respect given to us you know to and for that sounds reasonable enough you're not asking for much you're just asking for that space to do your job yeah for sure 
Eric, uh, let me ask you the same thing. How long have you been trucking for and how did you get into it? Um, I've been trucking for about six and a half years, a little over six and a half years. I got into trucking, it's deep into our family's blood. Uh, my dad drives a truck, uh, my grandpa drove, my mom used to drive. Um, it's pretty deep in our blood. I uh, got my CDL on my 18th birthday, bought my truck a few months later after graduation high school, and I bought it about three weeks after I graduated. graduated. Well, that's one heck of a graduation present there you bought for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <laughs> I'm sure you got pretty popular after that. Oh, uh, yeah. What would you want to tell the motorists in order to make your job easy? Um, pretty much like Steve said, you know, give us, uh, give us a room on the road, give us uh, respect like we give you. Um, that little gap that you cut in between me and somebody else, uh, that's my safety zone. You know, if we had to stop suddenly, you just took that gap away. You know, I want to go home to my family, and I'm sure you want to too, so it's just, uh, think before you react, and, you know, just give us, give us the room and the respect, you know. You said something that I hadn't heard someone say before just yet, and it might be a common term amongst the truckers and things like that, but as far as it being said in one of these interviews, the safety zone, and it's a safety zone that you guys are trying to maintain, Explain the ratios when it comes to stopping distance, but if you can just break it down really simply and, and the way that you guys operate, maybe that can help some other folks to understand. I try and keep myself a couple truck lengths behind whoever I'm following. You know, if we really start hitting the brakes, then I like to got the room to start getting myself stopped slowly. Um, stuff I haul, you don't want to jam the brakes sometimes too hard. You can have it shift and slide forward, so you can't lock them up. Well, Steve, do you have anything uh, that you can say to weigh in on that there? It's what he said about the safety zone. Yeah, you you know, especially when you get in stop and go traffic, maybe you're rolling 40 miles an hour or something that's a, you know, you're sitting in a parking lot somewhere as far as the traffic jam on the road and cars keep just coming in front of you. And yeah, you, they just keep pushing you back and pushing you back and pushing you back because you want to keep that, that space in front of you safe, you know? And that's very true, Steve, from the, from the time that I spent in the seat. It seems like you're not going anywhere fast when you're constantly having people jump in front of you, and you got to reset that that safety zone there. So, uh, hopefully, people can uh, kind of put two and two together with what you guys are saying. Alright guys, uh, it's been really fun uh, riding with you guys and being able to talk to both of you at the same time. I appreciate uh, the input and the, the, the advice that you guys have given as far as uh, safety. And I uh, hope to see you guys pretty soon at another truck show coming up. Hey Eric, we got this our exit. Alright, uh, I appreciate it. Doing it. It was pretty cool. Yeah, thanks man. That was awesome. Will do. I'll see you guys soon. See you later. Ten more.